Hey, this is Cameron, and welcome to the practice log. All right, well, it's another beautiful morning session. Yeah. Man, it's been a little while since we had one of those. I guess it hasn't been that long. We're back from the beach, though. First morning session back from the beach. Feels good. Well, let's go ahead and jump to it. I'll see you at the chair. Hey, well, whoa, sorry, I just got done teaching. It is a fine Friday morning right now, and a little bit about my life. Friday mornings, I teach guitar. Usually I only teach in the afternoon, but I teach Friday mornings uh, for, you know, people in the UK or wherever else that's convenient. So I'm in between lessons right now, and, you know, I wanted to practice. Usually I don't film Friday morning sessions just because it's kind of hectic, but I want to get one down because I just got back from the beach and I haven't practiced, like, officially in a while. I have an hour. Here's what we're going to do. We're just going to jump right into a video. We're going to do that first, and then after I teach my last lesson in the morning, we're going to practice our faces off, just as I say. Push yourself to the limit. Maximum effort. Yeah, it's funny looking back on all my fitness and practice advice. It's always like, just do, like, whatever you can. You'd think I'd be like a jock and be like, go like max effort, bro. I'm really not like that at all. You know, I think there's value in like not pushing yourself. What's the point? Like, who are you pushing yourself for? Maybe there are some parts of your life where you do need to push yourself. I mean, for me, I might push myself in guitar. But I mean, I'm also out here, like, trying to be a guitar guy, so it makes sense that I would do that. This isn't a talking portion. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm about to, like, ramble. We need to get to that computer chair. I promise I'll talk tonight. I'll think of something to say, and I'll have it fully flushed out. Uh, <laughs> that's, like, a lie. It's not gonna be fully flushed out at all. It's just gonna be rambling. Let's go to the computer. I'll see you there. Just changing chairs, left and right. Whoa, all right, let's go here. Let's go that chair now oh man you already know what we're watching this might be a little too much for you guys because uh yesterday we had milos now we're gonna have julian bream two handsome mfers in a row Woo! i don't know if we can handle that it's gonna be hard to focus today huh uh who's more handsome julian bream or milos post in the comments i'll make a poll about it Join Planet Fitness today and start getting yeah. big fitness energy for $1 down, $10 a month. Yeah, guys, you want big fitness energy? What a strange ad campaign. Zaxby's has been perfecting Whoa. chicken fingers for 13 Then go to Zaxby's. Years. And now we're 13 years isn't that long. I hate to say this, I freaking love Zaxby's. Here's my meal at Zaxby's. I get a salad with fried chicken and a side of Zax sauce. And if I can, I'll go to the Dollar General right next door. And I'll get some uh, sliced turkey breasts. And I'll put that on top. That's a heck of a meal right there. That's like, uh, oh yeah, no cheese, no croutons, none of that stuff. Just fried chicken's the only bad thing I put on there. The rest is just vegetables. Then I put my uh, my own turkey on top. You kind of zub out all the other stuff for the Zach sauce. We keep it clean here, yo. Uh, what am I talking about? Do I have enough buttons undone? Yeah, we're good. All right. There are fetid instruments in those. BMG. Big, <laughs> big, massive guitars. What does BMG mean, guys? Post in the comments. I'm almost scared to see what you guys have to say. Uh, um, everything I'm thinking is inappropriate. Um, bit big, <laughs> big muscly guys. All right, here we go. Uh, big. Uh, it's always big. It has to be big. Um, uh, bur <laughs> okay, that's fine. Big muscly guys. What's yours? We had a magazine called the BMG. Yeah. Oh, he had that magazine. Ooh, did it have like the foldout? Oh man. When I got my hands on that when I was a kid, I was all over it. Bands for the banjo, mandolin, and guitar. Oh, <laughs> is that? We had different magazines growing up. And there was an advertisement in one of them towards the end of the war of a meeting mm. of the Philharmonic Society of Guitarists. Woo! That's what we are. Dude, oh, dude, we should get some biker jackets like this. The Philharmonic Society of Guitarists. Oh, that's awesome. And so my father thought, we must go to that and, and to meet other yeah. guitarists, because we, we, we'd we never met another classical guitarist. Yeah, it's time to indoctrinate you, little Julian Bream, into the cult of guitar. And so one Saturday we went up, and I remember it was in Holland Park, it was a hot day. We went to this rather elegant house. And Ooh. there were all these people. I mean, it's got nothing on your mansion, dude. It's not that elegant. And they were all beautifully dressed and uh, spoke English, so that was, which was so refined I could hardly understand it myself. Oh, was, well, of course. Hmm. The society, I'm getting hung. Hmm. I'm too much of an idiot to even fake it. 
was still speaking Londonese or Cockney. There was an address by the president. and he... Dude, look at that guitar pin. Heck yeah. Can we join this? What is this? Rotund. The secretary said, would anybody want to get up and play? And so somebody yeah. said, yes, I'd like to. And they played. And they, I can't tell you what it was like. I mean, they, uh, several of them played that afternoon, and some of them even failed to get to the end of the piece. And yeah. it was a general breakdown, you know. Oh, yeah. Dude, the hands shaking, palms sweaty. We all know that feeling. Hey, the master class is today. It's already happened when you're watching this, but the master class is today. Let's see if we can all get through our pieces. We did last time. We did really well. But everyone said that they were pretty nervous, because, of course, you know. And the sound was very, very thin and poor. Oh. And the people, their hands were shaking with nerves. Well, you see, I was about 12 or 11 or whatever the case was. I never heard of nerves before. I mean, what's the matter with these people? And they've got St. Vitus's dance, I thought. <laughs> Do <you see>? well, <laughs> Dude, these freaking loser adults. Oh my god. You guys are nervous? I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what it means to be nervous. Man, is that the trick? Just to, like, never learn what being nervous is, and then you're just not nervous? Eventually, there was uh, somebody came came to the end of his piece and there was silence and the secretary pointed to me and then I thought my god what have I done wrong he said tell me do you play my father said well he does a bit he's only just started learning would you like to play and I said well I haven't got a guitar oh we've got plenty of guitars here somebody lent me a guitar and I played I think the B minor study of Saul Woo! B minor. It was the very first piece I'd ever learnt on the Spanish guitar. Yeah. Dude, I already know the title of this video. Julian Bream destroys a room full of adults. Just a straight up massacre. This little boy. Playing on the graves of my enemies. This is the first piece you learned? I mean, I guess I get that. There's something about being self-taught where you always learn something that's like way too hard. First piece I learned was Sweet Child of Mine and Good Riddance, Green Day. Hey, sporting the guitar pillow. Heck yeah. To everybody who tells me to get a real guitar support, our boy Julian Bream's using a guitar pillow. What can I say? Gotta stick with it now. I think that's a pretty good place to end this one off. All right, well, I am going to prepare for my next lesson. And then after that, I am going to practice. I got emojis here. Skull emoji. Can we get that skull emoji up in here? Fellow Gen Zers, skull emoji, am I right? I'm gonna end this part now. Let's go ahead and get to the piano bench. That's gonna be in like an hour or so for me. But for you, it's gonna be right now. Yeah, I just taught my lesson. It was pretty good. I have four more today. But that will be in like two and a half hours, so I'm probably not going to practice like a huge amount. But I'm definitely going to go through like everything I need to go through. I'll probably, I'm going to skip the scales for today. I'm just going to go right into the presto. Alright, well, I'll see you on the other side. I'm really glad that I retained a lot of those fingerings uh, that I worked on at the beach. Which I did write them down, but they feel a lot more comfy today. But... My groceries just arrived, so let me go get those. Okay, let me bring you in a little bit. It's been a while since my groceries have arrived while I'm practicing. Well, let's look at what we got. Quest, please sponsor me. Uh, let's see here. Avocados, of course. Get those good fats, am I right? Peppa, got some Quest bars. Quests. I spend $50 a week on quests. Please sponsor me. So this is one week's worth of Coke Zero right here. This is my emergency Coke Zero right here. I got it at a gas station. We got some grapes. You guys like grapes? Oh shoot. I only meant to get one of these. If this video gets 50 likes, I'll do a fruit mukbang. I'll give you guys some ASMR. <laughs> I know that most of you hate that, but there's like 1% of you that really, really like that. We got some turkey, turkey breast. And then, oh yeah, this is the real piece de resistance. Five things of blackberries. Ah, uh, cause they're in season. This is 18 ounces of blackberries. These were like two and a half dollars at Sam's Club. I eat one of these a day, like easy.
God, I'm almost done. I just kind of like spaced out there for a second. I was just eating blackberries. <laughs> I, I almost finished my first one. This will be the main fruit that I eat for the next couple of days because they tend to get a little moldy after like four days maximum. Strawberries keep a little longer. Grapes keep a little longer. I guess this is breakfast right here. God, there's nothing better than having an abundance of blackberries. They're so good. They, these have to be my favorite. Next is strawberries. Strawberries are really good too. So we got fruits for days. The only vegetables I got were peppers. And I like with peppers... I like to make guacamole and stuff the peppers with it and then just eat it with some cold cuts that I got or something or just eat it with some quest chips something like that that's pretty good I like that wash it down with a coke zero 50 likes fruit mukbang you know you want it give the video a like you want to see me do that all right well that was the grocery haul I guess uh we could probably get back to practicing now so let's do that Okay, I think I'm done. I haven't been practicing for as long, but I also don't have as much time. And I'd like to go on a walk today before I have to teach again. So, let me bring you closer. Oh man, it's been a busy day so far, huh? I've done a lot of stuff. But, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play the Siciliana for you, because I worked on that a good bit. I'm gonna go as far as I can from memory, so I'm not gonna look at the sheet music. I do have it there. Or actually, I'm gonna keep it here. But I promise you I'm not gonna look at it until I need to. I'm gonna try to make it to the halfway mark, which is around here. then, you know, you'll hear it. So, here we go. trying to make it too. That was one of the earlier attempts of Siciliana from memory. I didn't play the whole thing. Today is not the day that I play the whole thing. I'll play it later for you. In these practice logs, I've been kind of getting into a nasty habit of like wanting to always perform an entire thing for you. That's not what this is about. This isn't the performance show. This isn't the Cameron performance show. This is the practice log. And I need to accept that sometimes I'm gonna play stuff for you and it's like, yeah, it just like sucks. It'll hopefully not suck in like a month. I can't always just like, well, I'm just gonna perform through it for you. That's not the show this is. So I need to get out of that habit. You know, that's what the extravaganza is. That's me performing everything. I think we can go ahead and wrap this one up. I've been at it for quite a while, or actually not that long. This is kind of a an okay sesh, but I did a lot of good work, like with the Presto and all that. Siciliana, let's get out of here. Ooh, I almost broke my thumbnail on this camera stand. That would have been bad. That would have ruined my whole life. My whole life and career would be over, but we're good. It's okay. Well, I'm going to go bowl now and maybe play some basketball. I'm just kidding. I would never. I am going to go on a walk and like hang out and listen to some music. I think that'll be fun. So, you know, if you made it this far, be sure to subscribe, all that stuff. Hey, want some guitar lessons? I am a guitar teacher, did you know that? I talk about that sometimes. And I am accepting new students right now. So if you want to learn some guitar, I'll teach you.
just email me. And of course, if you have a question about anything, feel free to leave it. I'll answer it in the chair. I do that sometimes. You'll see. Probably the next one will be that. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to go do some other stuff. So I'll see you tonight.